Good morning guys on Frequented World Photography and today we've got another product to review. I've been sent a new trail camera. This is a 16 megapixel Ole Bros T3 trail camera. Let's take a look at the box. Let's get it out of the box and then let's get it in the field. Those are the steps we're going to do and um, on the box I have to say this thing looks promising. So this camera is available on Amazon.ca. It's 94 bucks Canadian. It's also available on Amazon.com. Uh, four and a half star rating, nine reviews from Canada. What do the users say? They say it has great battery life, really clear videos, easy and simple to set up. If we look at the box, we see it's uh, 16 megapixels. 0.6 second trigger time, motion activated, of course, it's a trail camera, day and night, waterproof. This is the T3 camera, so we can do single photos or boot burst. And here's some specs on the side. Field of view, 60 degrees, photo resolution, 4x34, so 16 megapixels, 1080p video, 2.3 LCD, 8 batteries, there's your operation uh, range. Ooh, nice pictures taken with a DSLR, no doubt. Now this on the back is a little controversial. It says, no glow LEDs. When I read through the Amazon reviews, everyone was saying it's actually a glow camera. So we're going to take a look at that and see, is it no glow or is it glow? And you guys can pause the screen. There's the rest of the technical specifications. Hey, would you look at that? Ole Bros, you get points right off the bat. A nice, solid metal strap. So a real solid, nice looking camera here. Don't forget, you got little tabs. You got to pull these off your lens and your LEDs before you put that out in the field. Okay, so I'm noticing there is no, there's no way to put a, um, a lock on the door here. Which, again, you're going to lose points for that, guys. A little bit, you know, anyone can come along and open these if you don't have a cable lock running through here. So, I don't know why they don't put a system on here, some of these companies. But, uh, just a minor niggle. Okay, got a nice cover on here as well. Eight AA battery slot here. Oh, it's hinged. That's nice. And a nice big screen. We'll have to take a look at that when we get some batteries in here. The other thing I noticed on the back, which is a little different, is you've got a spot for two straps on this body of the camera. I don't know that I would use two, but hey, that, uh, that would really secure your camera. Okay, I'm playing with this camera, and I opened it, and I'm like, there's something wrong here. It's upside down. It's backwards. Yes, this camera actually has the hinge on the opposite side of every other camera we have ever tested on this channel every uh, bushnell browning chinese knockoff they've ever sent me they all open this way this camera opens the opposite way and again we'll see the same problem i have with a lot of these cameras this is going to be secured to the tree you're going to open the door and guess what your nice big screen swings with the door so you can't set your camera up and look at the screen to say, yes, I'm getting everything in the shot that I want. You have to shut the door, have the camera mounted, take a test photo, open it, take a look at it, say, oh, that's no good. Remove the camera, shut the door, test it again. It's just not a good way to do it. These guys need to start putting these screens on the section that's mounted to the tree. I complain about that a lot. A lot of these cameras have that issue. And then this one to boot, it's just a little more awkward that this that the camera opens the wrong way three times now i've i've had the camera and tried to open it oh it's backwards <laughs> so be aware of that it's it's a backwards camera something else i like it's a small thing but the on off switch right here is really tactile uh, my bushnell cameras they have a slider and you always slide right through the test up to on it's very hard 
to get it to stop in the middle. This has an actual switch which is sticking out. And a nice three stop click there. And it's marked very clearly. Off, on, and test. Nice. Memory card missing, okay. Let's just take a look at some of the menus here. Or not, what happened there? <laughs> okay, so I've put a memory card in, let's try it again. Turned off on me the first time for some reason. Okay, so... Showing how many pictures we can take. Her battery status is three quarters, which is good. 23 degrees Celsius. So I guess, folks, we can say that if you don't put a memory card in it, it's going to just turn itself off right away. It will warn you, no memory card, and then it turns itself off. So good to know. Let's shut this. Okay. And take a look at some of the menus here. We've got languages. More than I need. I just need the old English here. Photo size. Let's get that right up to 12. Oh, sorry. 16 megapixels. Video size. I guess you don't get a choice. You get your 1080p. We only want one photo, and then we're going to do video afterwards. That's what I usually choose. Video length. I guess you don't get to choose that either. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, so here's the one we didn't check at the top, which is mode. That's why we couldn't set the video settings. We're going to put this on cam plus video, which is what I want. Now we can change our video size. 1080. Why wouldn't we pick 1080? And our video length. And I usually like to do about 40 seconds. Oh, hey, look at that. No, there is no option for 40 seconds. 30 seconds is all we're going to get, but that's okay. That's probably long enough. Do you want the date stamp on? Don't want to run a timer. I'm not running time lapse. I'm not doing a password. That is a nice feature to have, though, password set. Tells you your serial number if you need uh, any help, I'm assuming. Audio is on. We're not going to format that memory card. It's already formatted. Your version number, uh, we could check for an update. We should check for an update as well. So very simple to use. As one reviewer online said, the deer could probably set this thing up. This camera feels substantial. It feels much heavier, much sturdier than most of the cameras that these companies are sending me. Um, I mean, it's it probably double the weight of the rest of my cameras, but that feels like a good thing to me. It feels solid, well made. On the box, Oleum Bros is a brand of Outwards LLC, Houston, Texas. When they contacted me, this company also said, we are a Texas-based company. I'm Canadian, so that doesn't mean a thing to me anyway. But here, when we open up the camera inside, made in China. But this camera does feel well made, so take that with a grain of salt, that's, you know, don't let that throw you off. Let's test it first. 12 month warranty on this camera. I've set the Ollie Bros camera up here on a shelf in a dark closet, and I'm just gonna open the door so it starts recording, and let's see if we can see any pink glow from this camera. Oh, absolutely. It took a photo, and um, yeah, as you guys can see right there, this is a glow camera. Okay, so I was trying to find on the box where it says no glow, and right here on the back, no glow LEDs. So you're going to lose big points for that, Olean Bros. 
This is a glow camera. We just showed that. So false advertising right there. So usually the cameras that have the no glow go out about 65, 60 feet in that range. That would be normal for no glow. If you have a glow camera, usually you can get 100 to 110 foot range. Um, so I'm not sure. Maybe because this camera is a glow camera, you're going to get a bit more range. But if you're only getting 65 feet, then that's on the lower end of the scale. So be wary of that. If this, if that truly is the range, 65 feet, um, you know, uh, we're pushing into a pretty high price bracket there for 65 foot glow camera. So Ole Ambrose, you need to figure that out, get that figured out, get the proper information on the box so people know what they're getting when they purchase this product. What we want to test in the field is the no glow, like I mentioned. I want to test the distance that it'll focus to the camera as well. Um, battery life, how it uh, works here in the cold. We're at the end of October in Northern Ontario, so we do get frost in the mornings. It's raining right now. It's supposed to rain all week, so uh, we'll see how much the lens fogs. I want to see video quality, picture quality, day and night for both of these. It just feels substantial. I like the little things that they've done extra with the strap, um, the switch, the lens right on the body. So far, I got a really good feeling about this. The final thing is to just get it out and test it, and then we'll have all the answers. So let's do that. It's going to be a couple weeks. I'll get back to you then. Not sure I mentioned it before. I'll mention it now if I didn't. They sent me this camera for testing, so this was not purchased by me. I'm still giving a full, honest review. Let's get it out in the field and see how it works okay so thanksgiving leftovers turkey and ham all spread through the leaves here out on this log we are about 20 feet away from the camera which is mounted here and uh i almost mounted this camera upside down so you got to remember guys it's backwards funny but frustrating i don't know why they did that so remember mount it the reverse way you normally would so that you know, the hinge is <laughs> this way. So the camera does flash the blue LED once you've turned it on to let you know you've got 30 seconds to get out of the way. All we can do now is wait, guys. Let's give it a, at least a week, and then we'll come back and check it and see what we've got for video and image samples. Okay, guys, we've got the Ole Ambrose camera out here. It's only been out one night. Really disappointed in yesterday. I got a bunch of video clips that didn't record any video. Nine clips that were just the beginning of a clip and that's it, like a second long. So I don't know what's going on with the camera. The video quality that I can see, I did some tests walking to and from the camera. Meh, it is what it is. It's not a Bushnell or Browning quality. It's um, 24p. The audio is crap. The, the audio was so low that yesterday when we were in the closet doing our uh, glow and no glow test, you couldn't hear me talking and I was four feet from the camera, so. We took a photo and um, yeah, as you guys can see right there, this is a glow camera. And today, here's the final kicker that's making me angry. Up until this point, it's kind of been laughable. I decided uh, to get a better angle with this camera. I was going to mount it on one of my Browning mounts here. Then when I went to set it up, I opened the camera and look. How do you screw up a tripod mount? They've put it on the, the door of the camera instead of the back of the camera. So you mount your camera on any kind of mount, then you go to adjust it or change your settings you can't you're screwed in here camera is locked where I want it facing where I want it then I go to turn it on and look at the screen and make some adjustments I can't how do you screw that up come on I'm finding it very difficult to recommend this camera at this point the only thing left to do is show you guys some image and video samples that's subjective you can decide if that quality is good enough for you but this camera between the wrong information on the box so we don't know what we're getting how far out is that sensor is it 65 feet is it 100 we don't know we all we do know is that it is a glow camera that it's backwards it opens backwards the tripod mount is backwards 
I got to say, guys, you get what you pay for once again. I'm disappointed because I had high hopes for this camera. On paper, it looked great. In reality, in the field, I don't think I can recommend it over spending an extra $70 and getting a Bushnell or a Browning. Okay, guys, so the Ole Ambrose camera has been out in the field for four nights, and I had 400 and some clips on the camera, and it was pretty much bad news. Um, so here were the issues that I found with the camera. The sound only records a high-pitched whine at night. Uh, and it's in every one of those night videos, 300 night videos. And as I showed you guys, the microphone does not work, does not capture sound when you're standing three feet in front of the camera. The images themselves were all overblown, even set on normal mode. Now that could be just because we're only 10 feet away from the peanut butter tree in, these, in this case. Um, so we could probably lower that setting and get a better image, but straight out of the box on normal, all the images, night images were overblown. The daytime video was actually decent, not bad. That's my review. I have to tell it like it is, guys. I would not pay a hundred bucks for that camera.